This is a 1970s lawsuit era Kiso Suzuki version of a Gibson Hummingbird. The lawsuit era was an era during the 70s and I think part of the 60s as well, where guitar brands like Kiso Suzuki and like Ibanez were making versions of American guitars like Martins and Gibsons and Fenders out in Japan and then importing them and selling them for much cheaper. And these guitars were usually of, most of the time, the same quality and made the same materials. Just because of their location, they were a lot cheaper. Now I know um, Japanese guitars nowadays are much more expensive, but back then they were able to produce them much cheaper. And uh, companies like Gibson would end up suing them and having a massive lawsuit over copyright, that hence the name Lawsuit Hero Guitars. The Kisa Suzuki Violin Company was a company created in Japan, I believe, after the Second World War. And, obviously, as the name suggests, to begin with, they just made violins. But eventually they started making guitars, and um, they, were, they, were acoustic, they were all acoustic guitars, as far as my knowledge goes. And they were all sort of Gibson and Martin clones, and this one obviously being a clone of a Gibson. And they, they're not bad guitars at all, really. It's got all the same woods as a Gibson Mockingbird would have, so it has a spruce top with mahogany back and sides, mahogany neck and head, and a rosewood fretboard. It's got all the binding done nicely, it's got the correct um, scratch plate here with the bird on it. The only bits where they seem to have cheaped out on are the string pins, which I'm going to replace, and they have these horrible tuning pegs, which are really quite nasty, and I'm, I'm going to be changing those as well. These woods give it a very, very warm and very dark sound. It's quite a, I'd go as far as to say it's quite a moody sounding guitar. It copies the specs of a, um, of a 70s one very well, even down to the point where they have a zero fret and a flute. Now flute's a very good thing because it strengthens the neck and it's especially good for uh, Gibson style guitars where the headstock is quite, is lent quite far back and to be honest, Gibson have been using them less and less and that's really quite bad because you probably hear horror stories of someone like bumping their Les Paul and their headstock comes smashing off and this can help that quite a bit. It may seem only like a little bit of wood but it thickens it up enough to make it quite a bit well, more strong. Also when you're doing sort of cording up here it feels nice, it rounds off very nicely, it feels good in hand. <laughs> It's very hard to actually date this guitar because unlike other of the um, more serious guitar companies like Ibanez, um, because Kiso Suzuki never got that big, it was it's a bit hard to track them down. The nut looks to me as if it could be actual bone, but if not, it's a very very good synthetic bone. And if that's so, then the, uh, the actual bridge part would be bone as well, and the wood for the 
the bridges, Rosewood. So whatever happened to Kiso Suzuki? Far as to my knowledge, I think they went bust in the 90s and um, there was obviously no help due to, there was no help um, because of Gibson and people like that suing them. But they seem to have been able to un like they didn't seem to be able to adapt in the way that other brands like Ibanez were able to, where they were able to, to sort of go on and make their own things. Kiso seemed to just constantly make um, make knockoff guitars. <laughs> Hello, if you enjoyed the video, hit like, and if you really enjoyed and want to see more, hit subscribe. Goodbye.